we're pleased to be here today to talk about a very special project here at the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. With us today, my name is Jim Walther. I'm the director of the museum. Clay Perkins is with us. Clay is a historian and philanthropist, a collector of history and interested in bringing history to the public. And we have with us David Vanna. David is the owner of the Vanna LLC Fire Tower Restoration Incorporated. Working together, we're doing a very interesting project. We're erecting a replica of the tower and the cabin that was on the top, as well as the gadget, the weapon that was tested for the public to enjoy. The ghost of the Trinity test hangs over the Manhattan Project history. And it just popped into my head last spring that the site would be a lot more interesting if it had uh, a tower there, a replica, because there's not much there. So I came up to Albuquerque, sat down with Jim, and proposed putting it here, and it took him about 30 seconds to say yes. Jim has been critical, and all his preparation, marvelous job, and then his hands-on work on top of that, uh, in fact, I'm not sure you're really the director because you haven't been directing recently. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. He's pretty busy. Anyway, we, we, David Vanna is here and uh, he has been marvelous in putting the sticks together that uh, would be very hard to do unless you got the experience. The original Trinity Tower was made by a manufacturer that also built Forest Service observation towers. Um, so we found one that was very similar to that by a different manufacturer that I had harvested, as I say, down in Alabama. Um, these towers are being eliminated because there's uh, not as much need for them anymore. And I salvage them, restore them, and find new homes for them uh, for public and private clients. And then Jim called. So we narrowed it down and developed a parameters for what would represent the tower and I supplied a tower that has the original patina so that indicates it's been around a while and then the museum is recreating the, the cabin on top yes um, that was where they hooked it all up and detonated it so we um, took the tower we had laid it out in a, on our property at my shop, assembled a section of it, and then made the modification to allow the cabin to sit on top um, because the cabin's bigger than the normal cabin. And shipped it out here to the museum. And, and now we're putting it together. And the men that are doing the work regularly work for you. This is not just some pickup crew. Right, this is a, a crew of experienced metal workers, power workers uh, that are familiar with what I do. Let me let me also <coughs> mention that we've had a lot of great support, not only Clay's support for this project and uh, David's support because David also um, was able to work with the museum to make sure we could <coughs> do this uh, this effort, but we had a lot of in-kind contribution. Right. You know, the museum is beloved by many here in Albuquerque. It's the only one of its kind in the world. So we had construction support from enterprise builders they excavated the massive holes for yeah. the footings that go under this thing. Uh, we had Harris Rebar Company come in and provide the heavy rebar and uh, tie it all together. Uh, we had uh, custom grading come back and compact the site. Um, and so we've had a lot of very um, important uh, in-kind support. All necessary to uh, put a tower of this size up because the foundations are designed to hold the tower down in the high winds. That's right. It's not the weight, it's the yeah. lever of the big high tower with a building on the top with of it. With an oversized building on it. Yes. Top that can try and rip it out of the ground. Right. And we've built this building and we think it weighs a little over a ton and it's going to go on the top 90 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. uh, Mountain State's crane will be coming to lift it up. Once again, in kind, a support for the museum and so they're they're doing that uh, uh, gratis and so we're really pleased with that so we thank all of these companies for their help to make this come to fruition and make it possible well we thank you for all of this David it's a, a pleasure to have you with us and to work well, with it's you a, it's a great experience to be here helping 
get uh, Clay's idea up at your museum. Excellent. Couldn't get better people. Thank you. Thank you. ceremony we have planned this afternoon. This is one of two events that will take place this evening, and this has been a march through time and a long time coming. My name is Jim Walter. I am the director of the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History, and this is a very special day for us all. It's one of the most important people here tonight and uh, benefactors at this museum, Clay and Dorothy Perkins. They are the sponsors of the Trinity Tower. Clay is here with us up front, and his lovely wife Dorothy is with us today. Thank you both for coming. There are some people who really, really put in the hours on this, and that are, are the volunteers. Let me recognize Mr. Tom St. Alban. Tom is here tonight. There he is. Tom put in more hours on this tower project than any volunteer. He was up in the tower, he's been on the lift, he helped build the cabin, he helped pour the concrete, he did just about everything. Tom, we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you very much. And Mr. James Steele, I don't know if James is with us tonight. There he is, okay, James, thank you for being here. Tom and James are the two volunteers that put in the most time. Others helped us as well. Frank is with us tonight as well as Bob, uh, and those folks also put in some hours, but it was really these two fellows who put in uh, an immense amount of time. It's now my distinct pleasure to introduce someone who has made this tower possible. In fact, he's made a number of things here at this institution possible. He brought us the restoration of the Packard limousine, when we found it, after it was discovered in Gallup, New Mexico, that is the limousine that's in the photograph from the Manhattan Project and the Trinity site. He is a benefactor for the B-29 restoration, and he helped us to uh, be able to receive the beautiful Jim Sanborn uh, sculptural representation called Critical Assembly. He and his wife are important philanthropists to many organizations, not only this one, but also Heather's Institution and many, many others. Please help me welcome Clay Perkins.
Jim, thank you. Uh, it was an excessive uh, introduction, but uh, this has been a wonderful project for me. I've had an awful lot of fun in doing it. Let me tell you how it came about. It uh, reflects a little bit on our society. Last, last fall, I was thinking about Trinity, probably the October date uh, for the trip. And it suddenly occurred to me, there's not very much to see there. Wouldn't it be great if we had a representation of the tower at Trinity? How many of you have been to Trinity? Quite a few. The rest of you should go. It's really worth the trip. Not worth two trips, but it's worth <laughs> uh, So it occurred to me that it would be really nice to have that. And I had the ability to put one there. So I contacted the Army that runs the White Sands uh, Missile Range and said, hey, I got this idea. How would you like me to give you a, a representation of the tower uh, for the Trinity site? Oh, yeah, oh, that would be that would feel pretty good. Yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll start running it up the ladder. And they did a little while, and this went on for several months. And finally they said, OK, yeah, we think it's a great idea, but you've got to get permission from the National Park Service. So I contacted the National Park Service, and the answer was, no, you cannot put it there. You can't just not put it there. Hell no, you can't put it there. <laughs> because this site is a uh, national historical site, specially defined. And once the history has occurred, you're not allowed to change anything. And I said, well, wait a minute, uh, I'm familiar with a lot of national sites and know that they have things there. And I know that at Trinity, uh, there's a big parking lot for enough for 7,000 people, I think. There, is, uh, there are roads that have been put in. And you put a, and you took, the biggest thing is you took all of the Trinitite, the radioactive sand, out and buried it. And then you put a fence around the place. And then you put another fence around the first fence. Now you're telling me you haven't done anything. Blah, 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 blah. And I said, thank you. I was 82 last year and thought, I cannot go through one of these things with the government again. I don't want to do it. I think I'll talk to somebody who I know has more insight, Jim Walter the director of the museum. And I came to Jim and I said, stay on here for a minute in the lobby. And I told him my idea and said, how would you like to have it out here among the missiles, rockets, and submarines and airplanes? And it took him about 30 seconds to say, oh yeah, I, we want to do that. <laughs> and so we started and Jim is a remarkable guy uh, he got an art degree, but he has become a jack of all trades. He did all the, most of the planning for this thing, uh, most of the contacting of people, and he did a great deal of the mechanical work. So Jim's contribution was greater than mine, except in, in the, the one direct sense. So I want to tell you that I appreciate you all being here. I've had more fun during this than anything recently, and I hope you get something out of it too. Thank you very much, Clay. Well, you know, working with Clay is an interesting opportunity in itself too, you know, because he's a, a kind of a stickler for proper history and such. Clay has shared with you a little bit about how we came to be in this, uh, this day where we have this tower. Let me introduce to you the marketing director for Enterprise Builders. And it is because of Enterprise Builders and the many contacts that they have through Cary and the very fine people that work at that, that organization that we came to be here too. Please let me uh, help me recognize and welcome Alex Pullman, the marketing director of Enterprise Builders. 
Thank you all very much. On behalf of Enterprise Builders, we are thrilled to be part of this project. Uh, Carrie Hubera first brought this to us, and she said, hey guys, we need to go out there and dig a few holes. We have this tower to put up. No big deal. Well, it turns out we had to dig a little bit deeper. It took a little bit more concrete and a little bit more rebar than originally expected. But the incredible thing is, is she rallied all of our subcontractors together, and everyone believed in this project just as, just as strongly as the Huberas did. And thanks to her, we were able to form these alliances with Custom Grading, Noel, Harris Rebar, and many other people who are proud to be part of this project. So on behalf of Enterprise Builders, thank you all so much for allowing for us to be part of this special part of history. We're so thrilled to be part of a project that means so much to New Mexico. Thank you. Now it's time for us to give some plaques away to those institutions and groups, companies that helped us to uh, present this tower tonight. We have made these plaques available as a commemorative of our thanks and our recognition for their support and effort to make tonight possible and for this exhibit to become a reality. Jennifer Hayden is here with me and she's going to help me present those. And I'm going to step over and I don't know that we have representatives of all these companies here, but I know we have a few. And so if we call, when we call your name, please come up and uh, accept this plaque as a token of our thanks. Uh, if you will put this on display in your lobby or in your office uh, as a commemorative, we would be very appreciative of that. Let us start with Clay Kemper Perkins and Dorothy Perkins. Clay, would you come over and let us present this plaque to you? Clay, thank you. Hope you'll put that up in your office. I certainly will. Enterprise Builders, could we have Alex and Carrie perhaps come up and receive this on behalf of Enterprise? Once again, we couldn't have done this without you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. We hope you'll put that up in the in the lobby and refer to it, okay? Thank you. The last is Devanna. David Vanna is the owner of a company called Fire Tower Restoration, and he was also instrumental in this. He puts up uh, and takes down fire towers all over the United States, and when I first contacted David Vanna, he was actually at Guantanamo Bay putting up a tower. This very tower came from Alabama and was taken down, and uh, this is a 1950s model, just like the ones that would be uh, found that were used at that time that were used by the Trinity uh, test, uh, test officers. So we will get that plaque to David Vanna, and we thank him for his service. So now it is time for us to have a ribbon cutting. And uh, then we will allow you to come up and take a look at the uh, at the exhibition a little closer. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Uh, there we go. The Trinity Tower replica is dedicated. Thank you all.